and this is an experiment to interface uh, soil moisture sensor with node MCU and the ThingSpeak IoT platform. A soil uh, moisture sensor, uh, it is used in Internet of Thing project uh, and it is a device, it measures the am amount of moisture uh, present in the soil. It plays a crucial role in agricultural and environmental monitoring applications by providing real-time data about the soil moisture levels. This information can be used to optimize irrigation practices and it prevents overwatering uh, or underwatering and it makes uh, informed decisions uh, related to plant uh, related to plant health and water conservation. So what is soil moisture, moisture sensor? There are different types of soil moisture sensors, but one common approach is based on the principle of capacitance. The capacitance-based soil moisture sensor consists of two or more electrodes and they are inserted into the soil. The sensor measures the dielectric constant of the soil and which is affected by the amount of water present. And this soil moisture sensor has um, three uh, pins. Uh, one pin, it is used to connect the uh, A naught, that is analog input. And one is ground, ground of this is connected to ground of node MCU. And one is VCC pin, VCC pin, uh, VCC of uh, soil moisture sensor. It is connected to VCC pin of node MCU. So this is a module. Node M we, we are connecting this module, uh, soil moisture sensor module with node MCU in this manner. Uh, this is a code to interface uh, soil moisture sensor with the node MCU. And the first line uh, hash include ESP8266 Wi-Fi dot H. Uh, so this line includes the necessary um, ESP8266 Wi-Fi dot H for a necessary library uh, for using ESP8266 module to connect to Wi-Fi network. Then int sensor equal to A0. <coughs> Uh, this line declares the integer uh, variable uh, sensor and assigns the analog pin A0 to it. And this is the pin where the moisture sensor is connected. Next is int value. Uh, uh, declares an integer variable uh, value uh, to store the analog reading from the moisture sensor. It is used to store the analog reading from the moisture sensor. Next. Uh, my channel number and API key. Uh, these two lines defines the ThingSpeak channel number and API key and that will be used to send data to your ThingSpeak account. And after, the, after this program, I will show you how to create a channel in ThingSpeak. Next, constant uh, character SSID and password. So these two lines, these two. These two lines are uh, define SSID, Wi-Fi network name and password for Wi-Fi network. You want the ESP8266 to connect to. Next, uh, character server is equal to api.thingspeak.com. So this line defines the ThingSpeak server address. Wi-Fi client, client, client. So uh, it creates an instance of Wi-Fi client uh, class to manage Wi-Fi connection. Next, uh, in wide setup, uh, this is for serial monitor baud rate 9600 and uh, here the uh, sensor is made as input pin, input mode with the help of pin mode and the setup function, this is a setup function, wide setup. 
uh, initializes the program and it sets up the serial communication with baud rate of 9600 and configures the sen uh, sensor as input and uh, connects uh, the uh, connects to the specified wi-fi network with the uh, ssid and password and prints the uh, message uh, to the serial monitor indicating the connect uh, connection status so connecting to it will send the message with the ssid so in uh, uh, and uh, it will also check uh, for the status of the wi-fi uh, till it connect to the wi-fi network uh, it keeps on printing dot 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 when uh, it is connected to the wi-fi then uh, in serial monitor it prints wi-fi connected in wide loop the loop function continuously reads the analog this is for analog read it will continuously read the analog value uh, from the moisture sensor and contains the value within the range and uh, it mm, with a different range also it map maps uh, uh, for better representation and if client dot connect server comma at so uh, this is the command and this full block from here to here this block of code checks if the client can connect to the thing speak server or not so from here to here and uh, this this block of code checks if the client can connect to the thing speak server if the connection is successful and it prepare it prepares the string um, post uh, post str that includes api key and the data soil moisture value to be sent next this is the post str that is equal to api so it means if the connection is successful it pre it prepares the string that includes api key and the data to be sent And this part of the code construct HTTP POST request, HTTP POST request to send the data to the ThingSpeak server. It includes API key, uh, content type, content length in the header, and the actual data is included in the POST HTR string. This one, POST HTR. And the, uh, the code prints the soil moisture value to the serial monitor. And it, it, uh, its value to the serial monitor. And it indicates that the data is being sent to the ThingSpeak. After sending the data, the connection to the server is closed uh, using client stop. This is the client stop. So what it, this part of the code, what it does here, the code prints the soil moisture value to the soil moisture value to the monitor and indicates that the data is being um, uh, sent to the thing speak, sending data to the thing speak. And after sending the data, the connection uh, to the server is closed um, using client dot stop. And uh, after that, waiting 20 seconds and delay uh, 200. And this section of the code introduces a delay of 200 milliseconds before the loop function begins. And it also prints the message to the serial monitor indicating that the program is waiting for 20 seconds. So which is the delay between the sending the data to the thing speak. So in this way, the code demonstrate how to read the soil mo moisture data from the sensor and connect it to the Wi-Fi network using a ASP8266 module and send the data to the ThingSpeak platform for a remote monitoring and analysis. And the program uses the analog readings from the moisture sensor and process the data and utilizes the ThingSpeak API to communicate with the cloud-based platform.
now i will show you uh, how to create a channel in the things page now you uh, to create channel in the things page first click on google chrome and uh, Type things speak. Click on the first option. So click on new channel and give the name as soil moisture sensor. Write the description here. To measure. Moisture. Content of soil. Then in field one, I have declared the variable as value in my program. So the same thing I'll take. And I'll save the channel. So after saving the channel, copy this channel ID and paste it in your program and uh, click on API keys, copy this API key, write API key and paste it in your program. So uh, only these two uh, uh, things you should take care. Copying channel ID and copy uh, write API key into your program. After copying uh, uh, channel ID, this is channel ID, I'm copying the API key, uh, select the uh, port to which port your node MCU is connected and select the board and you uh, node MC 1.0 ESP12 model, module, then you download the program. And this is the connection diagram. I will explain you how to connect the moisture, moisture sensor with the uh, node MCU. Uh, it has got uh, two pins at the input side. Uh, 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 this is soil moisture. Um, uh, these two are cross connected. Uh, see here the first wire, this one. Please wait. Uh, this one, you should be connected this side. And the second wire should be connected first side. So the connection should be like this. Please take care of this. So the first, first connection should go to the second point. Second one should go to the first point. This is one side of connection. And the other side of uh, uh, the moisture sensor, uh, it has got four pins. The first pin is VCC. Second pin is ground. Third pin is not used. And the fourth pin is analog pin. Since it is an analog sensor, uh, uh, I have to use the analog analog pin and uh, the VCC pin of uh, soil moisture, moisture sensor it is connected to um, VCC pin of node MCU and, uh, and the ground pin of second one the ground pin of uh, moisture sensor is connected to ground pin of node MCU and the last one is uh, uh, analog pin the analog pin of uh, moisture sensor it is connected to the first pin this is the analog pin analog pin you can check here here it is written a0 a0 stands for analog and the, this is ground after d4 
after D4, VCC pin and ground pin. Only three connections I have made here. So this is the connection diagram. And I, I have already uploaded the program and I have already explained the program. And I have explained the working principle of, working principle of soil master sensor also. Now I will show you the demo. Uh, now uh, I have not kept this moisture sensor in uh, anywhere. It, it is completely dried. And we will check the value in terms of percentage in a serial monitor. So let us go to the serial monitor and you check here. See it is showing 1. The value is 1. Okay. Now in ThingSpeak, I have already explained how to uh, create channel in a ThingSpeak. So I have already opened. I will go to ThingSpeak. And see here, now it is uh, 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 6.50 time. At this time, the value is 1. It is showing the ADC value here is 1. Okay. Now, I will keep this moisture sensor in a water. So, uh, look at this. So, I will keep this in water. I have taken small quantity of water in a glass and I will keep this soil moisture sensor in water and then let us check what is the value on the serial monitor. Okay, so you come here. What value it is giving? 62, 62 or 63. So, it is 62 uh, percent, 63 percent moisture it is sensing. Now, I will pour some amount of water, some more water in my glass. Now, I will pour some amount of water. Earlier it was 63, now we will check it. Okay, now I poured and you check the value in serial monitor now. So earlier it was 63, now it is showing, how much it is showing? 83, you clearly see the value, it is 82%. Now again I will add some amount of water. I, I added some more amount of water and we will check the moisture content in a serial monitor. Now how much it is showing now? It is showing 100%. Okay. So, the same thing we will check it in ThingSpeak. So, earlier it was 0. 6.50 it was 0. It takes a few seconds of time to update in the ThingSpeak cloud platform. So, there is, since there is a latency, it takes some amount of time to update. Let us wait and check it. So in ThingSpeak channel also the value is updated. At 6.50 the IDC value was 1 and at 6.56 uh, the value ADC value that is analog to digital uh, converter value is 88. So it is updated in ThingSpeak channel. So the next, uh, next value is 100% it has shown. So again it will take uh, uh, some amount of time to update in the ThingSpeak channel. In this way uh, we can visualize the uh, moisture content level uh, in the form of a, a chart in ThingSpeak channel. At the same time, we can see the value in serial monitor. Thank you for watching this video.